Gilad Diaz and I'm Executive Director of the Litter of Light and this is my colleague Ray and we're here to teach you how to build the Litter of Light solar bottle correctly. You're going to need a battery drill, two circular patterns, you're going to need a galvanized metal sheet, 26 gauge, 10 by 10 inches. Bottle with cement. Plastic soda bottles, 1.5 or 2 liters. Glue gun with Sika cement. Riveter. Rivets. Working board. Sandpaper. Hammer. Chisel. Pencil. Curved metal sheet cutter. So first is to get a 26 gauge galvanized steel as the lock. This one holds the bottle up uh, when you stick it on the roof. So right now we're going to take the bottle and you will have two guides. One larger and then one smaller by a couple of millimeters. The first one is going to be the diameter of your soda bottle. Best results, the center of the guide should be on the crest of the galvanized steel. The nice thing about having guides is that you never have to guess each and every one. So especially when you're doing several ones, it's good to have a, a thick uh, kind of cardboard or thick kind of uh, plastic guide so that it can be used. So right now, you have the diameter of the bottle on the lock. The next step is to trace out in the center of the first circle another ring which is three millimeters inner. This is where the lock is going to be starting. Use a very special kind of steel cutter, which is for curved, for cutting curved metal sheets. Do not use the straight cuts because you will not be able to do the curves correctly. Cut the teeth in spaces of about two millimeters apart from the outside to the guideline that you have placed previously. This will serve as the teeth that will bite into the bottle.
now uh, is to bend out the teeth. Do not make them completely 90 degrees, but just 45 degrees. The best way to actually make sure uh, that the teeth are done properly is to get another bottle and fill it up with cement. That way you don't have to damage the very thin and fragile plastic bottle. So basically push the teeth so that it fits correctly and it's ready to be put on the bottle. Do not start the bottle without making sure that it's well sanded. That way the glue sticks onto the bottle. What you do is the best one is to go at a diagonal at a 45 degree angle. That way we make sure that the bottle will stick as much as possible to the plastic. Now, one of the best indicators of this is about two inches wide. Uh, and this will allow the glue on top and the glue on the bottle to stick properly. Look at the bottle and make sure that there is no shiny part left. So now is to start with a silicone base or an epoxy glue and to make a line around where the bottle will be sticking. Make sure there's enough space on the top for the light to come in and about two-thirds for the bottom. That way there's enough light to be able to go inside the house. So enough light in but go, uh, enough to go out. So it's just a little above center. Now that you have the metal that is ready part, you have less risk when you put it in the bottle at this point. So what happens is, as you squeeze in the bottle, you make sure by putting glue beforehand that it goes in between the metal sheet, lessening the risk of leak. So that your fingers don't stick to the glue, the best thing to do is to mix some water with some soap. Try to push in the glue as much as possible into the, all the crevices. This is very important so that if the upper seal, if the upper seal is breached, that you still have a very good uh, one on the bottom to hold uh, back the water from coming in. Now, do the same for the top. Make sure that uh, the the silicone or the epoxy is about two millimeters or half an inch above the metal, uh, metal sheet. That way, the water will not go into the roof. If necessary, and you see a lot of spaces that doesn't seem to be covered or some metal pieces that seem to go outside, you can put more or put a second layer if you think that this would be safer. Better safe now than sorry and have a leak later on. Next, we're gonna fill the bottle with water and bleach. And the bleach is to stop the algae from growing uh, in the water and blocking the light coming into the house. Right now, we're gonna put uh, four cups of bleach and this will be more than enough uh, to keep the water clean for the next couple of years. So right now we're filling it up with uh, distilled water to make sure that there's no hanging particles or dirt in the water uh, that will in any way block out the sunlight. So we're trying to get as clear as possible light from outside to go into the house. 
fill up the bottle all the way to the top. That way, uh, you make sure that there is no room for uh, evaporation. It's very important to put a sealant in the bottle cap of the bottle. That way, no evaporation goes out from your solar bottle light. So. This bottle cap cracks under the sun, so you need to protect it by putting a sheath around it to make sure that the sun's rays does not crack the top of the bottle. Now, this is the most important part of the solar bulb, and so you must be able to protect it with the sheet. So this is the first step on building your solar bottle light. The next one is to properly install it in the roof. So right now, we're going to be teaching you how to install on a roof. So this is our sample roof uh, so that you could see how we do it. Having a guide will make sure that you have a perfect cut every single time. By having a guide, you now make sure uh, that the bottle will fill correctly before putting on glue. So this is perfect, a perfect fit and you're now ready to glue it in place. Put the glue on the outer perimeter. So this is about an inch around the hole. Make sure that the glue is about an inch away from the tip to make sure that the glue does not cover the bottle light. Make sure that you can get a battery-powered drill. That way, you're not relying on having a, a, a power source immediately next to you. We're going to be putting six pieces in. 
It's always good to rivet immediately after you drill to make sure that the holes are aligned. We have found out that by just adding a strip over the original sealant, increases the strength of the waterproofing of the solar bottle light. Simply seal the top layer. This gives it a double sealing to make sure that the water over the next five years does not leak into the house. And the last step, which is often forgotten, but the most important one, is to seal the bottle from the inside. And this one is one of the best ways to make sure that you don't have leaks. Now, this is why you have to have a guide, because if you don't have a guide, the gaps will be so large that you might not be able to do a proper seal. And now, you've just completed building with us a solar bottle light.